kitty's in full on bath mode since she pee peed herself last night. She's like, I got pee pee britches. I just finally woke back up. I got a few more hours sleep. It's now noon. Oh, man. Um, so happy Friday. She doesn't seem to be in any pain right now, so I'm not going to give her any pain medicine right this minute. I might not take it, give her any till tonight when I give her her antibiotic to help her sleep through the night. Are you bathing? Huh? Hey, are you bath? Oh, she's like, I need, I need to get clean, Mom. Just don't even bug me right now. Okay, I got to call Lizzie because she called while I was asleep. You got a toy out? I just brought Kitty a toy out. Gave her some catnip, gave her her pain meds. She was not happy about the pain meds, but followed by treats, so she was happy. But now she's playing with her toy. So I picked them all up when I cleaned in here. I'd find them randomly around, and I stuck them in this behind Groot. Is that a fun toy, huh? Is that a fun toy? Yeah. She seems to like it. That's good. Now I gotta go peel potatoes. I made it to the kitchen and here I have our onions, potatoes, and carrots frying. And here, quick, quick, brownie for me to cut up later for Dad to take down the fishing trip tomorrow because he goes on Lake Michigan for his, a veteran's yearly thing. Then I'm getting these ready to go into the toaster oven. Um, crab cakes. I got these at Aldi. I've got them before. And uh, then I got the last little bit of our eggplant casserole in the microwave, so... Yeah. Well, I just learned when the toaster ever's on, don't turn on the microwave because we'll blow a fuse. <laughs> so either use that or use that. But now my crab cakes are in there cooking. There goes dad out for the mail. Him and his walk-in stick. All right. Crab cakes have another 15 minutes to go. Someone is mad at me because I won't open up that door and let her go to the basement. I know it. You can't, eat. while you're on medicine, you gotta stay up here because you can't hide downstairs. Mrs. Kitty. I know, I know, you're mad. She wants me to open that door so bad. My cousin Bart stopped at the precise right moment. He came to he rode his bike up here. He's got a Harley to take dad's uh, salt water to the basement because we have a salt water softener. And I said, hey, I'm getting ready to set the table to eat. Do you want something to eat? He goes, yeah, I'll eat. So he sat here and ate with us. We all chatted. He goes, that was very good, Stacy. Thank you. Now he's out there with dad looking for golf balls over across the street. And he's going to climb up on our roof, move one of those pack of shingles that we have. It's been blocking leaves. So yeah, he always, he always helps his uncle Neil out. He's got his curio cabinet set up in his house that we gave him. He's got it full of stuff already. He likes it. I see him. They just came back from across the street. Oh, he must be going to stop back with a ladder. Because he, he's talking about taking a ladder down the road. So I think he's going to take his Harley home, get his truck with ladders in it, stop here, use a ladder, get on the roof, pick up a grill, our old grill that isn't working for him to take for scrap, or if he can fix it whatever. So yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Whoop. And Kitty's still mad that she can't leave the kitchen door. Kitty's med station. I just got done halfing all her pills. Then these are her pain medicine syringes that I just, can I even grab one out of here? Yeah. They're just preloaded with a tiny bit. I pop off the cap and I squirt it in her mouth. And then this is her good job for taking your medicine treat. So yeah, this is my little station. Hi, are you sitting here watching me, huh? You never ate your kitty nip right there. Her toy is now down there. Yeah. I'm gonna go check out the litter box, huh? See, 
if you've been in there some more. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Someone just came and laid right next to me. Huh. Yeah. Wanna smell your tail? Okay. She's chilling. She just had her treats because I just got her to take her antibiotic pill or half pill. Now we don't have to do it down till tomorrow morning. She was not happy. And she's not the kind that'll swallow when you rub her throat or trying to she was just pissed. She's like rawr, 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 rawr. but so I let her go, then she's like uh, 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 and swallowed it. Now she's looking for more treats. You can't have more. You had a handful. Cause you took your pill. Very good. It is now Saturday morning. I just got me a plate of celery, carrots, and peanut butter. I like peanut butter on my carrots, too. It's good. Um, <clears throat> Dad just called me. Well, okay. This is the day Dad goes on his veterans fishing trip called Trolling for the Troops. And so I was up at 4.30 making sure he was up. And then he got out the door about, I don't know, almost 5 o'clock. And then I just dozed back off and at 5.15 the phone rings and I knew it was Odie making sure dad was gone because he was supposed to meet him at 5.15. I'm like, Get, be patient, Odie, he's going to be there. I didn't even get out of bed to answer the phone. <laughs> I'm like, good golly. Um, but dad just called me. He said the sunrise this morning was so pretty over Lake Michigan. He said it's so nice out there right now. They've got seven fish in the cooler. He caught the first one again this year. Um, not as big as last year. I think he said it might be 10 or 12 pound salmon. So at least he'll have bring home some salmon that we could smoke. Um, they provided him with a sack lunch and I sent the brownies and they also had donuts. And he said it's him and Odie and then a pair of brothers from over by Detroit. He said, we're having a good old time. I said, okay, will you continue having a good time? It's like 1047 right now. And their, their charter boat was chosen to be the, cause at noon, between noon and 1230 they have a parade of all the boats coming in to the harbor and then people will wave and do signs and the fire department usually shoots water up over like an arch and they go under it and um and their boat was chosen as to be the lead boat this year so they'll be leading the parade so yeah he's having a good time and now I'm gonna eat my peanut butter and veggies the Mighty Fisherman has returned. Tell everybody how you did. I'm hot, tired, fished out. We had I, a good time. I told him you caught the first fish again this year. Caught the first fish again. About a, it was only about a seven pound uh, salmon. King what, salmon. What was the biggest fish on your boat? Ralph caught a uh, lake trout that weighed about 16 pounds. You mean Odeon? Odeon, I mean, yeah. yeah. It weighed about 16 pounds, and all together we caught seven fish, and uh, it wasn't too bad. It was sort of slow out there today. Some some people only got one or two, so I think we did pretty good, you know. Yeah, we got fish for the freezer. Yeah. We just had big doubles. We each got two, but we each saved one for later. <laughs> put that in the freezer for me, too. Okay, okay. Okay, this will be my last clip before I put all this up. My phone's gonna die soon. Kitty's sleeping in her bed. I got a package in the P.O. box today. Um, it doesn't say who sent it, so I have no idea. So please tell me. And I opened it. And look at look at this mask. It's a it's a sloth mask. Look at it. It's so soft. It's fuzzy. And it has the filters that go in it. Cause there's a little it's got adjustable ear things and a little pocket to put the filters in but look at it thank you whoever sent me the sloth the sloth mask that is so freaking cute it is by this company it came through in an amazon package and it has a little zippy bag Pull this thing off because it keeps getting in my way or cut it off or something. Well, it's 
stick them strong. But okay, I want to put all these clips together. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.